Shouldn't be here, Emily. Alexis was being unfair. She's being honest, you know. I am selfish. I destroy people's lives, especially women. Alexis is proof of that. She's just bitter. Well, she didn't used to be. I, you know, Alexis and I were friends at one point. She was smart. She was funny. But you see how we are with each other. She gets, you know, defensive. I shut down. I want her to go away. But you know what? The truth is, we'll always be connected. Because of Christina. I'm sure for the rest of our lives, we're going to be biting our tongues choosing our words very carefully for the sake of our daughter. Alexis and I obliterated our friendship because we slept together. I would hate to see that ever happen to you. I'm starting to need you in my life. If we got together and you turned against me like Alexis, I don't know if I could live with it. Yeah. I'm not sure I could either. I'd rather have you in my life as a friend. losing you all together. I can't imagine what it would take to turn me against you and, and make me look down on you the way Alexis does. If we slept together, it would change everything. Is that, that, that's all I'm saying, Emily. I, I understand if you don't want to take this any further. No. Oh. I realized something tonight, that I've been selfish in pursuing this. I never even realized what you're up against. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. No, no, no. I'm what? a grown woman. I, I've been married and divorced twice. Right? I, I survived breast cancer and, and rape. I'm in medical school. But everyone acts like you're some kind of a child molester because you're interested in me. That's how Alexis was acting tonight, and that's how my parents feel. You Look, Alan and Monica would never want you to be with me. And I, you know what? I'm, I'm not sure I can blame them. They warned me that getting involved with you would be a mistake, right? But no one ever tells me that I'm sick and wrong and, and twisted to even consider it. You're being judged unfairly because of me and my feelings. And Sonny, I'm so sorry. Neither one of us has done anything wrong. Truth is, I don't, I don't give a damn what people think. Oh, Sonny, sure you do. That's why you're so polite, why you hardly ever raise your voice, especially in public. I don't like to yell, that's all. <laughs> you're, you're even polite when you threaten people. Come on, Sonny, I've heard you. I wish you hadn't. You've worked hard to win respect, yeah. right? To, to have the biggest house in town, to, mm -hmm. to always dress correctly, to put Michael in a good school, to, to help him to be accepted well, no matter what you do. Well, deserves that. And is it fair we... that you're being treated as, as some sort of an evil seducer when I'm the one who's been pursuing you? Well, I haven't exactly slammed the door in your face. You are a beautiful woman. You get even more beautiful the more I get to know you. You're compassionate, you're smart, you got a quiet strength. I have tried to stay away. But... But here we are. You know, I, I can see why everyone's so upset. A aside from the danger, our, our lives are, are very different. We have plenty of baggage that goes way beyond Nicholas and Carly. I agree. Yeah. But, Sonny, when we're together, 
All that kind of fades away. At least for at least for me. Selene and I have some business to discuss. Yeah, I was just leaving. You know, wait, Jason. I can see that you're angry, all right? And that you completely disapprove of what you think is going on here, but I just want to be really clear on one thing, all right? Sonny didn't ask me over here. I sought him out. All right, and I'm sorry that this is so difficult for you, but please don't take it out on him. 